this is how I play the game! Sound good? When am I taking my time off, folks? It's gonna start December 5th. That's kind of what's gonna happen, folks. Alright, and I'll be back on the 11th, and then when I come back on the 12th full-time, boom! Resident Evil 7 DLCs, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds on the Xbox One. I mean, there's a lot going on, alright? A lot. Now, I have an announcement. Here's the special announcement that I have to make today. I never didn't give any precursor to this. No one knew I was gonna announce this today on stream. mic has been on the whole time! Oh my god, the mic is on! Well, you guys heard nothing. I was downstairs getting drinks. You heard absolutely nothing. But I do have an announcement. You may be wondering, in particular right now, right now, I mean, let's face it, right now I just revealed that I'm in kind of financial difficulties, right? Um, because of shit that's out of my control. You know, everything that you guys have done this year, your contributions, have put me in a position where I was able to afford everything. And I was like, man, if I can just keep going how I'm going, I'm good, right? You know, I'm not going to have any issues. And then, boom, this stupid tax issue comes up that I have nothing to do with, right? Uh, it sucks. And some people have questioned, well, gee, why would Phil be taking time off in early December when he knows what's going on, right? Why is Phil taking this time off in early December when, you know, he should be trying to raise as many funds as possible and stream as much as possible, etc., etc.? Well, honestly, folks, the first reason, this is... The God's honest truth is because even as much as I need your support and as much as I need... I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. To be streaming and making money. I need... Money's time away for physical and mental recuperation. <laughs> uh, you, gotta, you guys gotta remember something. I don't take days off, right? Most people who have a job, you don't work seven days a week every day, right? You at least get a day or two where you're not working and you get some kind of recuperation time. I don't get that. I'm here every single day talking constantly on stream. My throat is all worn out. Again, it is definitely from this hardcore gaming season. Uh, how busy I've been every day, double streams. Keep in mind, it's not like it was a year or two ago where I was doing edited content and I got to rest my voice. It's not just me streaming, 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 streaming. My voice gets worn out, man. My body gets physically, you know, worn out from doing this constantly, all right? Mentally, you know, needing time away from my, my job, I need it every once in a while. And... <laughs> Unbelievable. So far, the way that I've been doing it, if you remember, I took some time off in July, then in October, and now I'm taking it in December. It's been working. Like, I get that time to recoup, and then I come back full force, right? <sighs> if you guys remember, it was early, uh, it was early in October, all right, where I took those days off, and I came back, and immediately I went into Shadow of War, Evil Within 2. You know what I mean? I started immediately doing those things, and because I had had that time away... Uh, you know, because I had that time away, it, it, it helped me, you know, significantly. All right. Uh, oh my God, excuse me. Oh. In addition to that fact, all right, there's another reason why I'm taking this time off in December. In fact, there's been another reason why I've been taking off these periods of time um, since, you know, the summer at these set intervals. And the reason is because... I've been taking that time to spend some time with my girlfriend. What? What? And boom, immediately a bomb has been dropped. Everyone's probably like, oh, what the fuck? What? You're doing what with who and how and what's a what? what? <laughs> and I'm not a children's entertainer. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. I know many of you were surprised. Phil's a faggot. When I revealed to you what was going on with me back on Thanksgiving. All right, and you're like, how could Phil have kept that secret uh, for two and a half months and not talked about it, right? Well, I've had an even better kept secret. All right, I have. I've had an even better kept secret uh, this year is that uh, basically since the summer, you know, I've been seeing someone on and off. And it's, it's certainly not as frequently as I would like uh, because as you guys know, you know my work schedule. I work my ass off. You have to be brain-dead fucking stupid to believe that. Alright. 
and I'm here every single day, which means I get very little free time. The free time I get is in the middle of the night. Sorry. Most girls don't have the middle of the night to do stuff. They're asleep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I've been dating someone uh, for months, actually, and seeing her on and off, uh, and I haven't had any consistent time to really, you know, to spend with her, and it's really these times off that I've been taking, these breaks, where I get to spend some significant time with her, all right? Um, and so, this coming break that I have scheduled, I'm going to be doing all kinds of Christmas stuff uh, with my girlfriend, which means putting up the Christmas tree, you know, decorating the house. As you guys know, I've already announced, I'm going to go out and I'm going to be looking for Christmas sweaters and Christmas liquor and all that kind of stuff, all right? So that's real, we're going to be doing all that stuff together. In fact, it was back in October that she was the person who I was going around with to all the Halloween stores, and she helped me pick out my Halloween costume, Ezio Auditori. So, I, in a lot of ways, I actually owe uh, the, the, great, the great pick of what that costume was to her, because she really helped me out, all right? Now, the one thing that I'm going to say up front, folks, because I know this is a bombshell announcement, oh my god, immediately, do you know the people who are watching the stream just for negative reasons, they're running to the fucking internet, they're scouring all, everything, Phil must have shown her in something, Phil must have mentioned her in something, Phil must have done, no, I mean, literally 100%, okay, I have been leaving this as a secret on purpose, because I knew that if I did announce it, you know, months and months ago, that it would, oh my god, Phil is a girlfriend, you know, the other thing is, you know, she's a person who very much does not want to have a public persona. Now, she knows who I am. She knows I'm a YouTuber. She knows all about me, you know. Um, it's not like this was just someone that I met out of nowhere and she had no idea who I was or anything like that. She's very well aware of who I am and all of that. But she does not want to be involved with all the online drama. She has no aspirations to go out and make, you know, a YouTube channel or a Twitch stream or anything like that. She doesn't want to have uh, a public persona. She very much wants to have her own life outside of being a part of mine, all right? And that's why I have not mentioned anything up to this point because I literally didn't want any idiot to try to go out there. I mean, ju just think about, folks. I mean, let's be honest here. Think about my last relationship with Leanna, right, my ex, and how, you know, she did very much have a public persona, Everything she did, she wanted to do her own YouTube channel, she had her own business online and everything. And just think, even though she never really ex exposed a lot of private stuff about her life, how much about her family and everything was thrown on the internet, just because people could find out, right? I mean, we were at the point where my ex's uh, brother was getting married, and I very, really quickly mentioned it in a, in a video or a vlog earlier on in the year, letting everyone know that I might be attending the wedding later in the year, and then I never mentioned it again, alright, because of... You know, reasons, the fact that we were afraid that if we had gone, because that was the year that we had gotten swatted, okay? We were worried that if we went to this freaking wedding, that some asshole would try to swat it. Or they would otherwise do something to prank it and ruin this wedding, okay? And that's why we didn't go, and I never mentioned it, alright? I never mentioned it at all. Again, yet, look what happened. People not only found out the date, the time, the location of the fucking wedding, they publicly posted it on the internet for people to say, oh, go ahead and troll it, and... On top of all that, then they spun it to say that I forcibly forced my ex to not attend this wedding so I could stay home and play Fallout 4 and make money. I did something wrong and I'm a horrible person. All of that was literally fabricated, right? So just think, based off a tiny bit of little real world knowledge, right? What these fucking sicko people who fuck with me have done in the past. So learning from that past, alright? Learning from that past, I very much, very much learned that this is something that I should keep to myself, all right? However, you know, being that some things have already come to light publicly, all right? Uh, the fact that you guys now know about my financial situation with this tax situation, okay? Um, because I revealed it on Thursday, a lot of questions have arisen. You know, one of the questions is, well, why is Phil taking this time off in December if he knows that he needs to make as much money as possible? And, you know, the answer here, quite frankly, is I already had scheduled this time to be with my girlfriend and do this holiday-themed stuff because there's no other opportunity to do it. You know, as you know, guys, as we get closer to Christmas and everything, everyone gets super busy, I'll be super busy, and incidentally, she's going to be super busy. So, you know, what we decided is let's, let's you know, have a celebration earlier on in the month when both of us would have time to do it, and I actually scheduled it for this one week when there's no new releases, so it's perfect, okay? Um, so that's number one. But the other thing, folks, is that the question everyone's on everyone's mind, well, why does Phil still need this big house? Why does Phil need to stay in this house in Washington? That's beyond his, what he needs. 
you know, as a person, and he's just standing on pride that he doesn't want to lose this house that he bought, and he doesn't, no, the bottom line is, folks, that, you know, I have a girlfriend who I've been dating for months, and we're both, you know, mature adults, and I'm not a whiny baby, I'm a mature adult, the point that we have our own lives, but we've been talking about our future together, and we've been talking about, gee, what would we like to do, maybe eventually, if things keep going well, we'd like to move in together, I'm like, well, I got the perfect house for it. The problem is, I don't know if I can keep the house because of this bullshit with the taxes going on. I'm nervous. I'm really, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going to need your guys' help. I really am. I'm going to need your support. I need it. No lies because I need the money. Right now with this whole tax situation I'm in, I need the money. The money helps me out tremendously. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. And it fucking sucks because, um... Really, honestly, you know, back in the summer before the tax issue arose and we started dating, you know, things were going great. And we were like, wow, this is amazing. If this keeps going this well, maybe we can move in together and, you know, we can do all this stuff. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you know, in September, October, the tax issue hits. And now it's like, now the future is completely fucking uncertain, right? People are so gullible. People are such fucking sheep with this shit. Seriously. Now you might be asking, well, why is Phil revealing this now? Um, well, ever since I revealed on Thursday about what's going on with this house and everything, and the fact that the taxes are an issue and everything, um, obviously there's been all these questions about why do I need the house and stuff like that. But in addition, you know, I've been talking with her every day, and she's like, you know, I feel kind of isolated, even though, even though she, like I said, she does not want a public persona, she does not want that, she at least feels that to know that if you guys knew that she existed, it would make more sense in the perspective, the big picture perspective, Right? Because now your kind of guys are finally kind of see the big picture for the first time ever. And now it's kind of, the pieces are kind of falling into place. You know what I mean? A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way. And hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar. And lying to everyone. But people are believing it because they don't know any better. It makes sense now. Um... So now I go, like, ah, okay, I get it. So now Phil needs to keep the house because he's dating this girl he's been seeing. And obviously if he has to move, then he can't see the girl anymore. And also if he keeps the house, then maybe eventually, you know, they could be in the, living in together and then they could, you know, both pay for the house. See, it makes sense now. And that's why she kind of wanted me to talk about it today because it now makes everything kind of formulate into a, it makes sense. And let's face it, uh, she's kind of been a secret and, you know, it kind of makes her feel a little bad because when you're kept secret, right? <sighs> It kind of means like, oh, she's the dirty little secret, you know? She's not. But at the same time, we didn't want to reveal anything until we were ready. So, so there you go. Now, by the way, no, you're not getting her name. You're getting no information about her whatsoever. Zero. Just what I've told you right now is all you're getting. Until maybe at some time in the future, things change and maybe we're in a better position. All right? You know, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, if we can get out of this situation with the house, if I can pay all these, somehow find a way to pay all these taxes. All right? Then, in 2018, yeah, things could be potentially much better. And maybe if she moves in with me, and we start a life together, alright, um, then, then, okay, if she's here living with me, and obviously, you know, you're gonna see me during work hours or whatever, but of course, maybe there'll be some vlogging and stuff that I start doing if she's here with me, like DSP tries it and stuff, where she's gonna be in it, then it makes sense that, you know, yes, there may be more information revealed in a later date. But for now, none of that will be revealed. Nothing. WHY AM I TOXIC?! There you go, folks. That is the truth about everything that's been going on. Now you've got the bigger picture. Now I've got even more of an incentive. Now you know I have even more of an incentive, even more of a desire to... Fix this whole tax situation, save the house, you know, and stay where I am so that I could potentially have a, a much better future for myself versus moving back to Connecticut, being a solo bachelor in a piece of shit condo, Terrible weather. You know what I mean? Greed is massively strong. Anything for this, right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> is, my new, is my new girlfriend Vidar? Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, th this kind of shit needs to come out. This kind of shit needs to be exposed for what it is. I'm gonna do a ton of shout outs in just a moment because everyone went crazy with cheers once I announced that I had a girlfriend, of course. Some people are just fucking idiots. What else can I say? You gotta be an idiot. Shout outs! <laughs> then when the stream started, Ratchet Fan 
did a $5 tip and I'm $5 richer. So thanks, moron. Rinkdu did a 500 bit cheer. <laughs> thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Ratchet fan gave me another $2 tip. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. This is congratulations on the new lady. She's a lucky woman to be with you. What? <clears throat> Devour. Devour. Snake. And I'm not a children's entertainer. Did a 25 bit cheer. And says, How can some awkward, chubby guy like you put multiple women, but an attractive alpha guy like myself is still a virgin? This is some bullshit. I think these are kind of questions you need to ask yourself, bro. You probably, first of all, you shouldn't be admitting to everyone that you're a virgin. Right? Very embarrassing. No, it's not. There's nothing wrong with being a virgin, by the way. Um, some people are like, oh my god. Oh my god, I made it to 20 years old, I still haven't gotten laid? Listen, I got laid way before I was 20, and it was no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be butt-fucked. Trust me. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. So, it's not that big of a deal, alright? I like how you try to sly insult me here. It's an awkward, chubby guy. Uh, if you may not notice, people like me, or else I wouldn't have any following. Obviously, there's something about me that people find attractive. What? All right. And uh, that's probably why I'm able to find women. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that's probably why. Huh? All right. Let's, uh, let's jump in here, folks. I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.